Hello everyone and welcome back to another playthrough in Fortnite Creative. In today's episode, we're going to be playing a map that you may know of already. The map is called Prop Hunt Modern Mall, and the reason why it was so popular back in the day is because it was part of a set of challenges during a summer showcase. See, what Fortnite did was, during the showcase, it actually set out a number of challenges where you could win free items through playing in the different maps and doing different activities. These free items included a pickaxe, a gun wrap, and back bling. Once the summer showcase was over, the three maps essentially fell out of the public eye because their challenges were done and everyone got their prizes. However, out of the three maps that were in the showcase, this is the only one that managed to keep its popularity. So without further ado, I'm going to show you exactly why I love playing this map. For those of you who don't know what Prop Hunt is, it's essentially a game of hide and seek. The real reality of this is, is that there probably are a lot of you that know what Prop Hunt is already, because there have been many games in the past that have made some version of a Prop Hunt as a separate game type. So when you enter into a Prop Hunt game, you have two teams. You're either going to be a prop or you're going to be a hunter. As a prop, you're essentially given a time limit and a prop gun to run around the map, find an actual item that you want to look like, and become said item. After that point in time, you're supposed to find a good hiding spot, try to blend in with the surroundings, and then try to survive for the time limit that's allotted. What Fortnite Prop Hunt does in a lot of ways that makes things a little bit easier for people that may have a bad controller or may have sensitive controls on their mouse, they give you a toggle lock in place. So again, the better you blend into your surroundings, the longer you'll live. And the main objective is, as a prop, to survive until the end of the game. As a hunter, on the other hand, your whole goal is to find all the props before time runs out. You're given various weapons, such as a pistol, a shotgun, a stink bow, grenades, and boogie bombs. When you find a prop, and kill said prop, that prop will become another hunter. The props will start to get whittled down, and it'll get to a point where inevitably the hunters will start to outpopulate said props. Since it is extremely hard to find the props in this game, they do give the hunters a little bit of an edge. As you would imagine, if it is a map that is as big as this, the issue is, is that you can literally hide anywhere, and it would make the hunter's job almost impossible. See, every time, if you take a look at the top of the screen, they give them a prop ping. And it's a little bit of a sonar feature where if you happen to be near a prop or in the vicinity of a prop, it will give you a ping that will sound like sonar. And if you're using visual sound effects, it will also give you a little bit of a sound icon to show that they're in this area. It won't necessarily completely out the prop, but it'll give the hunter an idea that they should be looking in a particular area. So in order to give you a better idea of what a hunter is supposed to do during gameplay, I'm going to show you some clips of me being a hunter. Alright guys, that was my playthrough of Prop Hunt Modern Mall. If you are interested in trying this map out, I highly recommend doing this with friends. I can safely say this, after this recording is done, I'm going to hop right back into this and play maybe three or four rounds of this. Okay, five, six, seven. But anyways, I would definitely consider this not only for the fact that it is a fun playthrough, the XP that you gain through this is also pretty generous. 
So if you are looking for something that's going to help you rank up and maybe you're a little bit tired of playing Battle Royale style gameplay or Team Rumble, this isn't a bad one to maybe give you a bit of a break. But for now, the creator's code is in the top left-hand corner and the island code is right next to it.